I tried another iron pill because I really do need to get my iron levels up. And last time I stopped taking my iron pills because they gave me stomach cramps. And I was like, oh, well, maybe it'll be fine this time. It was not fine. I thought it was okay. I took it with dinner. <laughs> And then I didn't feel any pain or discomfort like the rest of the night. But then I woke up in the middle of the night with horrible stomach cramps. And I was like, ouch. Let me know if you have have tips. <laughs> any any iron pill takers. Curl up and wait it out. That's basically what I did. That was my plan. Well, actually, I'd like, I was like, well, maybe if I have the pain while I'm sleeping, I'll just sleep through it. But it was enough to wake me up. <laughs> and I couldn't go back to sleep. I guess the, the real answer is I should tell my doctor. And be like, I'm sorry, I can't take these iron pills. I am not strong enough. <laughs> yeah, cast iron. I do have a cast iron pan that I've neglected. It's like sitting under my counter. And I like don't know how to season it properly. <laughs> and I'm afraid to clean it. Cause you're like not supposed to use soap or something, but then I'm like, isn't it gross? How do I know if it's clean? Just buy a new one each time. Oh no. When I got it, I was like, I'm about to be master chef with this cast iron skillet. I'm gonna make tomato sauce in here to enrich it with iron. I'm gonna sear my tofu. It'll be delicious. And I used it a couple times and then I got scared. <laughs> No tomato sauce is bad for the pan? I thought, I thought that's... Oh. <laughs> I'm defeated. I ruined it, but I'm supposed to eat it, right? I'm supposed to eat the pan. Don't <laughs> let her cook. I'm a decent cook, I promise. I just don't, I'm afraid of the cast iron pan. 